Next at 6, the Government Accountability Board under fire as an audit is released showing problems at the agency. Political reporter Jessica Arp explains the findings and what may happen next. Well, this report will certainly be ammunition for Republicans who had already said they wanted to replace the agency, while GAB's director says the audit is simply a roadmap for them to improve. Lawmakers at the state capitol were delivered a new look at the Government Accountability Board, a legislative audit bureau report that found multiple issues at the agency governing elections, ethics, and lobbying. The farther I got through, um, looking at the inconsistencies. Joint Audit Committee co-chair Samantha Kirkman says she was troubled by the findings. And it really looked at all angles of what the GAB has been charged with. And I really think they have failed to um, live up to what they, their, their, their agency is. The Audit Bureau found that GAB staff hadn't issued some administrative rules required by statute. They didn't issue fines for some campaign finance issues and that they were delayed by years in doing their own audits of both electronic voting equipment and looking at whether felons had voted. You make choices. What needs to get done first? And, you know, when uh, you're in a swamp trying to drain it and there's an alligator uh, nipping at your rear end, you focus on that. Uh, and for us, that was making sure that uh, elections were conducted on time efficiently. GAB Director Kevin Kennedy says the recall elections, a statewide recount, and 16 different lawsuits against the board required time and attention that didn't allow them to accomplish everything. What this does is it gives us a very good roadmap on how to move forward. I believe going forward, this gives us a good roadmap to where we, we can replace the GAB with something different. What, what is that? I, and I don't know yet. I mean, I just got this today. Republicans do say they'd like a check and balance over the appointed nonpartisan board of former judges who make up the GAB, but that could return the board to a more partisan model as the prior elections board was. Democrats said in statements today, today that the audit should not be used to dismantle the GAB, the GAB board will meet Tuesday to discuss the results of this audit. All right, Jessica, our reporting live for us tonight from the newsroom. Jessica, thank you.